you're just gonna pull yourself up and hold. We're gonna hold that for a one count. So as you pull up into it, come up as far as you can. You don't wanna go past that kind of peel up though. So if you, if you find yourself going too far, go back down a little bit. So you wanna, you wanna just clear your shoulder blades about right there. And then we're gonna hold that for a one count. So like thousand one, and then we're gonna go right back down. Then we're gonna do bird dogs, which are the ones where we point. Um, we're gonna do those on each side and we're gonna hold those out. So you're gonna, you do the opposite. I just did it wrong. You do the opposite. Um, we're gonna hold those for a five, probably five seconds on each side. We're gonna do five each side. And then we're gonna do V-ups at the end as the fourth. Um, we're gonna do 10 of those. And V-ups you can do with a weight or without. If you do them without a weight, it's just your hands above your head like this. And as you come up, you just touch your shins and you're back down. Um, when you're doing V-ups, that's the only ones you gotta worry about. With V-ups, make sure your heels um, stay off of the ground at least six inches each time. So don't let your feet smack on the ground. You wanna keep that tension. When we're doing all of these, just be really aware of this area right here, your core, because it's a core and stretching but we wanna make sure that that stays engaged the entire time. So don't feel, like if you feel yourself sagging, if you feel yourself arching, that means your core is not doing what you want it to do. So I would rather you cut the repetitions or cut the amount of time um, and just work on your, your form. So we want good form throughout each one. Um, and we're just gonna go right through them. First though, we're gonna stretch. So if you're not laying on your back, lay on your back, get close to your back. We're gonna do, what I love to start with, which is my ankle or my knees are together, slightly raised, and I'm just dropping them to the side. And I, I like to do these before and after because it'll show you how stretched out you get. Um, so we're just going to do five on each side and nice slow ones. Just kind of count to three on each side and then just roll it back over to the other side. Hey, Craig, for those who can't lay on their backs, is there an alternative for upright seated position? Upright seated would be, um, so if you're sitting like this, you want to either manually move your legs or, manu or let them do that on their own. I just want you to get that stretch. So just roll it to the side or roll it to the other side. So you can just be like slight twisting, but don't like go too far and don't, don't do these. It's a nice, so it's just a nice push over and then a nice push over the other way. And I'm just taking my arm on my knee and I'm kind of pushing against it. And it, you'll feel your spine just kind of do a nice little warm up. So just kind of let that push over there. And again, about a three count and then switch it to the other side and about a three count. And let's just do that five times. Do you feel your whole like lat loosen up? You'll feel everything kind of let go a little bit. And that's what we want. And we're like I said, we'll do this at the end. I just like to see how loose you guys get. Um, and then if you're still, if we're from a seated position, we're going to just do a little bit of front bending. So if you're seated, uh, if you're on the ground, just sit up. If you're in a seated position already, just stay there. And we're just gonna do a nice, gentle bend forward. So don't go super far. It doesn't have to be, you're not trying to kiss your toes or anything. It's just a nice forward bend. You should feel it all in your hamstrings and you should feel it in your lower back. And just kind of, I am really unflexible, so I am terrible at these. So I just kind of go as far as I can possibly go and I just hold that. Just hold that for like a 10 count. It's a good time to clean your shoes. A lot of funk on my shoes. All righty, cool. So what we're gonna start with is our planks. So planks, again, if you can get into the plank position, great. You're gonna be starting in this position right here, um, elbows under you. If you cannot get in this position, if you can be sitting, you're gonna be tightening your core the entire time. So what you're gonna be doing is isometric tightens of, the, of this part right here. So if you're in a seated position, you wanna be nice and erect, and you're gonna be, as, as we do the planks, you're crunching into that plank. So you're making this whole diaphragm tight. 
so that it, that it's like like a brick like if somebody punched you it would hurt their hand so you're holding that tight the whole time if you're in a plank position you're here and when i say go up you just go up onto that plank don't sag either way um just kind of keep nice and straight if you want to take weight off drop one knee if you want more weight drop two knees if you need more than that drop your hips down and be pushing up because then we want that stretch but no matter what you're doing in the core keep it nice and tight like a like a band in there like it can't move at all so we're going to start with a 30 second front plank then we're going to go to the crunches which we'll do 10. we're going to do the bird dogs we're going to do five on each side and then we're going to do 10 v ups and then we're going to take a minute minute and a half off in between each round four times so start my timer and oh timer Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with 30 seconds. Here we go. Remember, nice, keep that core tight. If you're sitting, you're holding that whole core nice and tight and straight. No sagging. Keep breathing. You're just keeping your core tight while you're breathing though. It's a good skill to have. Coming up on 25. 28, there's 30. We're gonna go right over to those crunches that we talked about. If you're not doing the crunches, this is where you're gonna do a crunch. If you're in a seated position, you're doing that same crunch right here, but now you're twisting too. So that, that thing we started with, this guy right here, you weren't tense at all. Now you wanna be as tense as you can get and you wanna twist into it and core this up like hard, like I'm holding that as hard as I can. And then I'm holding that position right there. And then I'm coming back. So you're going to hold that. We're going to do 10 crunches on our backs. You're going to hold that crunch for, let's hold it for a five count on each side. So as you lock into it, hold that and then come back to center and then reload it and go the other way. So, and you're doing that as long as we're doing crunches, you're doing that. Um, crunch people, you're on your back. Remember knees are up. Just your heels are on the ground. Don't interlace the fingers and we're gonna do 10. So you'll hear me counting, but just go at your own 10 count. Um, if, you, if your form starts to get wonky, then stop and just do as many as you can do with good form. So here we go, we're gonna do 10. One, two, and I'm holding it for like a one count at the top. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The hold at the top kind of keeps you like, keeps your core nice and taut. Um, we're going to do bird dogs. Bird dogs are the opposite edges. So arm here, opposite leg back, and you want to be a straight line, straight pole almost. Um, so I keep this hand straight out in front of me and I'm just leaned up, pointed back down. So we're going to hold that though um, on each side for 10 seconds. And we're going to do that in this rotation differently this time. We're going to do that for 10 seconds on each side, but we're going to do that twice. So four times total. Um, here we go. Whichever side you want. And I'll just tell you to switch. Now we're switching. Now we're switching back. One more switch. Nice tight core the whole time. And if you're sitting, you're doing those crunches. You can be doing the twist crunch, or you can be doing this, just a straight core crunch. That's 10. Good. Now we're going to do V-ups. Um, here, V-ups again with the weights. You're coming up to your shins. If you're in a seated position, we want to be doing – how do you do I'm trying to remember. I want to make sure I get it right. If you're here, you want to be arching, so you're going – backwards so if you think of your spine as a straight line like this 
you want to bend that line backwards, then come forward just to a neutral, and then forward. The whole time, you're cored up though. So this stays tight the whole time as you come back this way, then you're in the middle, then you're forward. Middle, back. You're pausing about two seconds and holding that for each one. You never let this go though. This stays tight the whole time. Like you should start, this should start to feel like jelly about halfway through this. So we're still in that first rotation. So by the second or third one, this should start to feel really tired. Um, that's our goal anyway. Everyone who's doing V-ups, we're doing 10 of those. You could do them with a weight or without a weight. Remember, heels are six inches off the ground though. So we're gonna me count to 10. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. That is one rotation. I'm going to set a timer. We're going to wait a minute and a half. So drink some water if you have it. If you have questions, type them into the chat. If you have answers, type those in the chat too. That's about 30 seconds, so about a minute more. It is super hot in Colorado today. I think it's like 82 degrees right now. So I'm sweating. It was a hundred, it's 108 outside today. It's so Never mind. Yeah. Never mind, we're, we're cold. <laughs> I just went, I went outside for like five minutes to pick peaches and I was like sweating. It's so hot. I came back inside, I was like, oh my God, that was like a workout. Five I'm minutes sorry. outside. 108 is an oven temperature. Yeah, I know my poor plants. I don't know if they're going to survive. It was crazy. That's not normal, though, yet. That's not right. It seems a little hot, but it's, it's almost June. So uh, every year I forget. That's why I live here, because my memory, I forget that it's so bad. And <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and every year I'm like, <laughs> how is it this hot? <laughs> I ain't like this. All right, coming up to a minute 30 here. With planks, so the demo planks, we're going to add 15 seconds. Um, stay in just in the front planks, though. And if you're doing a seated position, this is where you're doing just the straight 90 degree cord up, holding it the whole time we're holding it. Um, so we're going to go up and we're going to go 45 seconds. Here we go. Remember, keep it super tight. No sagging, no bouncing. It's a, you gotta teach your core what you want to do. Kind of like anything. That's 25. That's 30. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go right into the R crunches now. If you're laying down, it's the, it's the peel on the shoulders up. If you're sitting up, you're doing the twists now. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. Remember, if you're on the ground doing the crunches, you wanna hold that one count when you come up. So we're gonna do 10, here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Going to do bird dogs now. If you're in a seated position, you're doing the arch backward and forwards. I'm resetting. Okay, so we're going 10 seconds on each side. Okay, and here we go. 
nice straight line right through your whole body. Try not to tip. And we're switching. Nice and straight. Switching back. Cruising right along. One more switch coming up. Switching back. Pointed, pointed, pointed. There it is, beautiful. Now we're gonna do V-ups. This is when we're, if you're seated position, you are doing all the way back core, middle core, front core. Um, V-ups, if you're doing V-ups, you can do them with a the weight. Feet are six inches off the ground. You'll hear me counting, but you go at your own pace. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest break. Minute and a half. Yay, halfway. Halfway to the fundraiser. It's another reminder of the fundraiser at 6.30, mountain, mountain time. There's a lot of good silent auction stuff too. Like I did a climbing package. I think we have a bunch of other things that are sports specific and fun. Cool trips. It's a really cool Mexico trip. That's about 37. Another minute. So planks this time, we're gonna add a side plank and we're gonna go for a minute. So if you're in the seated position, you're holding that crunch that you're seated in for the entire minute. Trying to make you tired. About another 10 seconds, we're gonna start into the plank or the seated crunch. So what uh, you'll hear me do is at uh, about 40 seconds, we're gonna turn on to a side plank. And a side plank will just be here, that hip up. If you need to put something under your hip or your shoulder, that's fine as well. Um, if you feel like you're sagging too much or it's hurting your spine, let your hip drop down, but keep the core tight the whole time. If you feel good, then just stay up in that nice straight line right there. Um, I'll tell you when to roll over. We'll do 10 on each side, but we'll start into it with a regular old front plank. Let me reset that. Um, here we go. Straight up. Front plank. This is our third rotation. There's 20 seconds. There's 30. So now be thinking about which side you want to roll over to. Doesn't matter. Pick whatever you want. We're going to do that in four, three, Two, one, go to your side. Now hold that for 10. Flip sides, 10 more. Everyone who's sitting, just still holding that crunch. There's a minute, beautiful. Now we're gonna do our regular crunches. Seated, you're doing the twist crunches right now. 10 of these, again, hold it at the top for a second. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Right flopped over to bird dogs. Ten on each side. If you're in that seated position, now you're doing the back, middle, front. We're gonna start that. And if you're in that seated position, remember just keep the core tight the whole time that we're in that position. That way everybody's getting the workout. Switching. Switching. Nice straight line with those legs and the arm. Switching last time. Two more. Beautiful. Okay, 10 D ups. Oh. Again, you'll hear me counting, but you guys go at your own pace. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautifully done. One more rotation. Um, okay, so for this last one, planks will be the same, crunches are the same, seated position is going to be the same as well. Um, bird dogs, though, for the people seated, I think what we're going to do is a twist crunch. So, like, kind of what I was talking about where you're going this way, but to hold off to the side here instead of rotating out. So, you'll hear us do... 10 and 10, um, when we switch the second time, so you'll hear 10, switch, 10, when that second happens, then you switch, but so hold that core the whole time on one way or the other. Doesn't matter which one you start on. Um, it's a nice straight line though, almost like you have a pipe in your back and you're just turning like this, open up your chest, core up really hard, and then come back to center and go the other way. So you'll hear that on our break. When we're switching halfway, you switch. That was a minute, so about 30 seconds. Life's gonna be the same, a minute with the kind of rollover in there. All right, get ready. All right, here we go. Minute, I'll break you up and roll you onto your sides here. Here we go, up. This being the last round, keep everything nice and tight. Don't let anything sag. You should feel tired, you should feel warm. I'm sweating. That's a good thing. Keep everything tight. Your shoulders are tight. Core is obviously tight. Hips are nice and tight. You're not dropping, you're not sagging. So now get ready to do the first roll to the side. Here we go. Side plank. Folks sitting are just crunching that core tight. Rolling the other way. As you're sitting there, you should feel like your, your core should be tired by now. One more, there it is. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do our crunches. All right, we're gonna do 10 of those with that one second hold at the top. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautifully. Okay, bird dogs, ten seconds on each side. Folks sitting, you're doing that twist and cord up tight. Get that, get as deep a stretch as you can and then tighten that core up when you get into that position. Everyone doing bird dogs, we're going 10 on each side, doing it twice on each side. Here we go. Nice straight line, pointing, pointing, pointing. Getting ready to switch, switch. Getting ready to switch, switch. Now you folks just switch sides if you're sitting. You're going the opposite direction now. Keep that core tight. Bird dogs are switching. People sitting still holding that nice tight core. Keep that stretch going. Two more, one more. There it is. Last thing, V-ups. If you're sitting, this is where you want to be doing that backwards arch, center arch, forward bend. When you come forward, just as much as you can get. Here you want to be perfectly straight. This is tight like a, like a brick. And when you go back, you should feel it open up. So make sure you get in that whole rotation, that whole movement. The Eps, we're doing 10 of those. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. All right, we are going to stretch out now. So let's go back to that same if you're seated. Seated, seated. Um, you want to be doing that cross. So legs, arms in front, this arm's behind as much as you can. If you can't get it behind it, just keep it at your side. But you want to just be using this to push. So it's the opposite way you're going. So just lay it across your legs and push. And I want you just to kind of let that twist out. You don't want your core tight here. Let everything be loose, loosey goosey. If you're on the ground, do those knee drops again, over to the side with your arms out like this, and you want to just be doing a three count. You should feel a deeper bend now, I hope. Because now your spine is all warmed up, and your core is all warmed up. And just let that thing stretch out. So I tend to feel like which I'm tighter that to my left, which means I was probably favoring one of my planks one way or the other. You'll notice that if you start to really pay attention to what your body is telling you, you'll know like what, where you're compensating for things. So usually I compensate on my prosthetic side. So we're there, like you're, you typically want to go the opposite of your injuries. Um, so if you have a lot of injuries, it makes it a little bit harder to determine what you're doing, but for me, I know that I always favor my other side over my prosthetic. We're gonna do one. If you can kneel, it's called happy puppy. So we're gonna do happy puppy is when you're stretching your hands out in front of you. So you're kind of on your haunches and you're pushing forward. If you're in a seated position, I would like you to do that bend over forward. So legs out in front of you, going all the way forward. This is, I need to do this one a lot. Um, all the way forward. So we did it in the beginning, and you want to get as deep a bend as you can in that spine. So as far as you can go, um, if you're like me and you have like a fused spine, you know, you got to find that sweet spot of like what will bend and what won't bend. So I just try to like slowly go into the bend I, and don't bounce. Um, there's lots of discussions about like, should you do a dynamic stretch or not? Um, and I'm just a fan of like a slow, deep stretch. Feel like it does a lot better for me. And I just kind of keep slowly stretching into it and letting it get like a little bit deeper. 
And we'll hold it for a little bit here. It's a good time to let your neck loosen up too. Just let it drop. Cool. That is it, you guys. I would hopefully I can encourage you to go check out our gala tonight at 630. There is a cooking segment that's going to happen um, just before it um, with one of our one of our really great people. Um, Jose is going to do a cooking show. Um, so yeah, check it out on Facebook Live. You can find it. We would love to have you guys. Um, you'll get to hear some cool stories and see some cool people and yeah, hopefully have a good time. Thank you. Good weekend, and I will see you back here next week.